Welcome to Kevin Deal Photography, where I take you on my journey through photography. On today's episode, we're going to be doing an in-depth review of the Godox WEC Kit 2 Lavalier Microphone System. Welcome to today's episode. If you're not familiar with Kevin Deal Photography, we do gear reviews, tips, techniques, and tutorials, and sometimes we dive into film. If any of that sounds appealing to you, click the subscribe button below. So if you follow this channel, of course you know that I do photography and videography, but for those of you who don't know, my primary background is actually audio engineering. So. While I do a lot of visual-based reviews, I actually love it when I get to do reviews about audio products and microphones in particular. So, uh, as somebody who's been using the Rode uh, GoTo wireless system for the past few years, I wanted to see what else was out there and see what my options were. And so Godox reached out to me about this kit and asked me to do a review. And I'm gonna do that today. And like all my reviews, it's going to be independent. My opinions are gonna be my own. Godox had absolutely no input on the outcome of this review. I'm gonna tell you what I think is great about this system, and I'm gonna tell you what I think could be improved upon about this system. Now, the one thing that immediately stands out to me is that it comes with a case. So for those of you who come from the world of AirPod, AirPod Pros, you'll be familiar with this type of case because this isn't just a standard storage case, it's a charging case. So outside of the fact that I don't think it has magnetized charging, it does have USB-C charging, but beyond the magnetics, it's basically the exact same type of setup as your AirPod Pros. It's familiar, and I think that's a smart thing on the part of Godox because it's something that's easy to learn how to use because you're probably already using something like AirPod Pros in your daily life. However, none of this matters if this microphone sounds like garbage. So that's what we're gonna dive into today is the sound quality of this microphone. And no lavalier microphone is gonna sound like amazing, like a studio broadcast microphone. So right now you're listening to a Shure SM7B through a really nice microphone preamp, and that's what gives me that broadcast radio voice. It's a cardioid microphone, and as you get closer to it, there's proximity effect, and you get that chesty sound. Um, you don't get that with omnidirectional microphones, which are what lavalier microphones are. They have a bit more of a natural sound and a less manufactured sound, which sometimes can also be perceived as a bit thin. Sometimes people want that artificial chest bump of a sound coming out of their audio. So we're gonna see how easy this guy is to EQ. We're gonna see uh, what the fidelity sounds like, the intelligibility as I speak. Of course, consonants are how we hone in on words. So that's what we're gonna try to listen to in today's episode. And I might as well just switch it over right now. Let's do it. Now you're listening to the Godox microphone. I'm recording with it for the very first time. I'm gonna record a lot of this episode with it because it is a microphone review. But microphones are very important. If you were to remove video from this screen, you could still understand what I'm saying and you could kind of follow along with what I'm talking about. But if you remove audio from this screen, are you getting uncomfortable yet? I know I am, because I can't hear myself speaking. And even if I could hear myself speaking, if a microphone sounds like this, that's not good either. So anyway, let's first go over the specs of this Godox kit, and then we'll dive right into the review. The Godox WEC Kit 2 is a wireless lavalier microphone system with noise cancellation. It comes in both a one transmitter and two transmitter version. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the two transmitter version, which consists of two transmitters and one receiver, as well as a carrying case and a charging case. The carrying case has a pouch for accessories like the included eighth inch cables, as well as windscreens. The Godox WEC kit system boasts a maximum transmission distance of 200 meters or 656 feet. The whole system weighs in at 11.2 ounces or 317 grams, and it comes in at a street price of 99 US dollars. So I'm doing a bit of a test right now. I'm using the windscreens on the Godox. Uh, I'm doing some testing for some Canon cameras and lenses 
and I'm using this Godox WE2 kit uh, to capture my voice. And so hopefully this sounds good. So you can listen to how this sounds on a windier day. I'm also going to test out the distance on this guy. Why not? All right, so we're gonna do a distance test real quick. I'm just gonna run down here so you can see me get physically fit. You hear that dropout? That's because our bodies are gigantic bags of water and the wireless 2.4 gigahertz could not travel through my body. So after a, what, 100 feet, it dropped out, not even 100 feet. So you gotta make sure that the microphone is facing toward the receiver. So I got to about 200 feet and that was about as comfortable as I could get before I wanted to turn around and start heading back because when I tried this test the first time, some homeless person tried to steal my camera. So I'm turning around, I'm running back, but you still can't hear my voice because of all these people jogging. It's still creating a barrier between the transmitter and the receiver. So you're gonna have to keep in mind you need a direct line of sight. And here's where the signal comes back in. It's also gonna give you a chance to hear the windscreen on this microphone. So you can hear the windscreen as I'm running. Is it doing its job? We'll find out. I mean the running to make this segment shorter and I don't want anybody to steal my camera. So now that we've concluded our distance test, let's hear how well the Godox stacks up against the Rode Go 2. So I'm testing out this Godox system in my studio. It's a very cavernous room and I wanna highlight that because this is an omnidirectional microphone. It picks up in all directions. It's not just picking up my voice, it's picking up everything that's reflecting in the room. And that is of importance because if you're gonna buy this microphone, you need to understand how it behaves so you can see how well it works in an environment like this because this is a challenging environment. It's pretty long. so. This is challenging, it kind of resembles a lecture hall or maybe a, a church or something like that that you might find yourself in. So when you listen to the quality of this audio, it'll let you know how the Godox behaves. So let's talk about the Godox. Obviously you have a transmitter and you have the receiver. The transmitter is attached to me right now. I also have one right here that I can show you. And it's really small, it's like a USB thumb drive the transmitters have two buttons on the side, one for power, and it looks like the other one is there to synchronize to your setup. They're incredibly light, and then they have a USB port on the back. I haven't even used the USB yet because I haven't had to because I have this case that I get to use, and I get to charge it. The case says that it'll charge these in the last for eight hours, so basically you can get 24 hours out of three charges, and then this thing is fully drained. So 24 hours is quite a long time for one charge. And for those of you who aren't familiar with the way this works is the microphones go in here and then they get charged by the unit. And then the unit can also be charged through USB-C. So this charges these and then your power source charges this. So it's great because if you're out remote in the field, uh, by the way, this fits in your pocket. You can have this guy in your pocket and just walk around and you're good to go. It also tells you, there's a little indicator on there that tells you, I obviously have this fully charged, it's at 100%, so I should get up to 24 hours usage out of my transmitter and receiver. I also have the fan running on my video light right now, so we'll hear if we can pick that up. In addition to a 3.5 millimeter jack, they do give you a jack that has an extra notch on there. That is for your smartphone. So if you wanna use these Godox transmitters to record to your phone, all you have to do is hook your receiver up to it and you're good to go. So I'm walking around the room right now. Maybe it sounds good, maybe it doesn't. That's something that we'll listen to in post-production. Uh, but let's listen to intelligibility. And also another thing to keep in mind is this guy goes up against the Rode. So this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. We're gonna do a test between the two of these guys right now. So we're doing a test. I'm just gonna speak. I'm gonna say uh, common things like, the rain in Spain lies mainly on the plain. The rain in Spain lies mainly on the plain. We just want something that shows up consonants. So you're looking for intelligibility. You're looking for uniformity of sound arriving at the ears. You're listening for those consonants to hone in on. 
as you listen to the Rode Go 2 versus the Godox, tell me what you think about each of these in the comments of this video. Does this Rode system sound three times better than the Godox system? I have my doubts. All right, so now that I've had a chance to use this Godox WE2 system, what are my thoughts? Well, my thoughts are that for $99, it's an incredible value. You get two transmitters and one receiver. How can you go wrong with that? Uh, but we have to talk about the sound quality, which in general, I also consider to be a pro. And let me tell you why. At 1,000, 2,000, 4,000 hertz, those very important frequencies uh, that are synonymous with your consonants, right? Uh, when you speak and you hear speech and you wanna hear that intelligibility. I do think that in general, the WE2 does well there. There are some things that I'll talk about in the cons with the sound quality, but for something that you could use for interviews, something that you could use maybe as a pastor or something like that, where people just need to understand what you're saying, it does pass that test. Another pro about this system is just how they decided to copy a very smart, easy to use design that Apple and other manufacturers use where you charge the case and the case charges the actual transmitters and receiver. That is smart because out of one charge of this case, you can get three charges out of these guys. This has 24 hours, these each have eight hours, so you get three charges out of it. You can get a full day of use, maybe you're out in the field, this system will work really well out in the field, much better than the Rode Go 2, which we'll talk about the differences again here in a minute. The other thing I like about this is that the controls are very easy to use. You hold the power button, power happens. Uh, you wanna hold the, uh, the sync button, synchronization happens. You turn the volumes up and down at the receiver. The volume goes up, the volume goes down. Unlike the Rode Go 2 where you have to keep toggling between things, then you have to double press something or you have to hold something down. I find that the menu on the road go to are not as easy to use as on this despite the fact that this doesn't have a screen I talked about how I love the case I love how there's a case within a case I also love the fact that this case does a really good job of protecting your whole Godox system whereas when you purchase something like a Rode Go 2 wireless system, you get this pouch. And when you open this pouch, all your stuff can just kind of fall out really easily, which kind of sucks. With this, you have a zipper and you have a case within a case. And then this case is also a hard shell case. So if something falls on it in your bag, you crush it, your, your microphones are gonna do a much better job of surviving than if you have it in this soft neoprene pouch like you have with the Rode Go 2. Another thing I like about the Godox over the Rode Go 2 is I just like the profile better. This is like the size of a USB thumb drive. It just clips on, you kind of forget about it. I find that this gets a little heavy, a little front heavy. I find that the uh, the profile of the Godox sticks to my shirt a little better. And so for that, I would put that under the pros, especially as a pro over the Rode. But let's talk about the cons and some of the cons on the Godox is where the Rode shines a little better. So I did talk about the fact that I thought that the fidelity was acceptable and good enough for speech. And I still think that. However, when you listen to me switch from my SM7B to the Godox, as you can hear right now, a lot of information becomes missing. Now, I don't think that's necessarily happening at the diaphragm. We're now able to produce fairly good lavalier microphones for not a lot of money these days. I think where you're hearing that information fall apart is at the AD to DA converters. So if you're not familiar with how AD and DA converters work, uh, so I am speaking and you're hearing me go through a microphone, it's taking that acoustical energy and it's transferring it into electrical energy. And then when it takes that analog electrical energy, it needs to convert it to digital because it now needs to send it over that 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission. And then on the other end, you have your receiver, which takes that digital information, converts it to analog, and then goes into your camera. And in that process, cheaper products tend to lose a little bit of information. That's why in the pro audio world, you have these really expensive analog to digital and digital to analog converters. One of the things that differentiates price points in the wireless microphone market is the ability for a manufacturer to take your analog information, your acoustical energy, and send it off into the digital domain and then convert it back into the analog domain and have it sound good. That is mainly what you're paying for. So when I do listen to the files of the Rode Go 2 versus 
versus the Godox. I personally can hear a little better fidelity in those mid frequencies out of the road go to. They're very subtle, but they're there. And if you know how to listen for them, you'll find them. Another thing I noticed on the road go to is that you get a little bit more low end out of it, which a lot of you probably like this chesty sounding radio voice that I'm getting out of this microphone. And you get a little less out of that out of the Godox because they decided to put a low cut filter that rolls off at a higher frequency than the road does. And I noticed this because when I went in to go EQ my files, Despite the fact that I was boosting the low end quite a bit on the Godox, it didn't quite have the same bump as the Rode Go 2, and especially didn't have the same kind of low end chesty voice that you'll get out of this broadcast mic like a Shure SM7B. So the Rode Go 2 can more closely sound like this microphone, although let's be honest, neither of those microphones sound like this microphone, but I wanted to make sure we were crystal clear about that con. So while the pro is that it's good enough, the con is that it does fall a little short in terms of fidelity, but not below that threshold that would make you walk away from possibly purchasing this microphone. Another con of the Godox is that these windscreens, they fell off pretty easily, so they pop on, but I noticed that sometimes when I had them on and I would clip this on, uh, I would just be walking around and these things would just fall off. So I wish there was a way to twist it on like the Rode Go 2 has. I think that would have been a more thoughtful design feature on this Godox WE2 system. Now, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that the Rode Go 2 has internal flash memory so you can actually back up your session. So if maybe something gets screwed up uh, on your recording on your camera or whatever, you actually have a backup inside the microphone itself. That is something that the Godox does not have and I wanna make sure I'm crystal clear on that. But if you don't need that, then you don't need to spend three times more on this. But that's really it in terms of cons. Is this worth it? Yes, I do think that for $100 to get two transmitters and one receiver, and the fact that it has that uh, charging case that's built just like the AirPod Pros, yes, I think that this is a no-brainer if you're in the entry level for a wireless lav system. And yes, I had criticisms about fidelity, but the road isn't that much better than the Godox, and you're not gonna get into super good high fidelity lavalier microphones until you get into uh, high end sure or maybe even like DPA microphones. And those microphones sometimes have a comma in the price tag. So to get two labs and a receiver for $100, yes, I think that's an incredible value. So who should purchase this? People who are on a limited budget. And if you really couldn't hear the difference between this and the GoTo, Chances are your clients aren't gonna hear those differences either. I've been an audio engineer for years and I know what to listen for and a lot of people don't know what to listen for. And even if people know what to listen for, if they can still hear the consonants, they can still hear all your words reproduce and they can understand your speech, then as a tool, this does the job. That does it for today's episode. I thank each and every one of you for watching today. If you like what you saw, tell me about it in the comments below. Have you gotten this Godox WE2 system? If so, tell me about that in the comments below. And if you like this channel, I highly encourage you to click the subscribe button below. And I wanted to also remind you all that I have another YouTube channel with my podcast, the F11 Photography Podcast. And as an audio form, it's also available on Apple and Spotify. But please go check out my other YouTube channel, the F11 Photography Podcast, where I have conversations about stuff like this in my more uncensored format. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.